Alright people, I got some fun and exciting update from WhatsApp. Walk through some of the features I've been working on. Number one, it's custom layout. Normally, we're just using this default WhatsApp layout, which is provided for you. In the next version, you can now use your own custom layout. Let's say we want to load our charts in this layout, this dashboard. So for that, you're gonna have to do a few things. First, you have to prepare the layout. There's a new key that has been added in the new version. And here, by default, we're using the custom layouts from WireChat. For now, I'm gonna use the default lava layout. You know, that is done. And for now, we can open the layout because we have to prepare some assets and files. We can start by adding some WireChat styles up here. You know, and then down here, we can add some WireChat assets. Now, this is just going to load the models and notification toasts. And last but not the least in here, make sure that in the parent, which is holding the chat, make sure you add a fixed height. Like for example, when I use some CSS functions, let's just, let's just say, you know, height, height VH minus 3.9. And you also want to add like a padding of five so we can see the chat nicely. Now, if you go back and boom, now you have the wire chat inside a new layer, not the default one. So every time I try to open a chat, it's gonna use this same layout or whatever layout you put. So this is convenient and many people ask for it as a feature. So it's now there. All right, so you might have noticed that up here, I have this good hero icon. And when I drop down, so that's gonna drop an empty container. So right now let's go and try to add our charts list here. So for that, since we have already added our styles and assets, we can just simply go to navigation in here. Let's first load charts component, right? And make sure you have a fixed height here because this is going to dynamically load content. So you want to make sure that you have a fixed height so it can load correctly. So with that, if you go back, so right now if I click here, you see that we now have our chart list right from the menu bar. How cool is that? And it works just fine. I can simply click on this conversation and, and it will redirect and open the chart right here or wherever my default layout is. I can go ahead and start new charts from up here and it will work. I can also simply start it from here and it will work since it's just the same component. And one more thing is that here, for example, I might wanna just make this minimalistic. That is change the title from here. So you can do that and simply just go and add title, let's say messages. Now if I drop this, you see that the title has now changed to messages and here despite being the same component it still charts by default All right so you can do more than just change the title you can also remove everything here to make it super minimalistic so for that down here just set the variables title to null you can set button to null the new chart model to false allow charts to force so now if i drop this you see that now we have a super minimal chart list which is in sync with the one down here the highlighted chart is the same as here if i click on namu for example i'm gonna go to this chart it's gonna redirect me and work just as before and i can still have synced chats so you can also go to users for example you know it can be any page on your application and i can still access this drop down and redirect when i click okay so it's super convenient i'm excited about it and i can't wait for you guys to try it out all right, so at this point, you are able to set your own custom layout to load WireChat into it. So apart from this, I also created a standalone chat component, which you don't need a layout. You can just get it and drop it in any blade file and it's going to load. So you don't need any redirects. It's just a full SPA chat component. So if I go to my dashboard, currently it's empty. So let's go ahead and try to load our chat in here as an example. All right, so now we can simply just go to our dashboard and then in here, let's just try to add a div with a height of 100 VH minus 10, just to cover for the top navigation. And there, let's add this wire chat, live wire wire chat component. This is a standalone component. So now if you go and refresh, boom, now you have your own widget component without having to specify any layout. This is independent. You can place this anywhere on your page in your Laravel application. And I can still open conversations and it's not going to redirect. Just open right here, just like any other page. You can, you can try to create chats here and it's going to open everything. And, and you can also open the group here and check out the information of the group. You know, add members if you like. Or you can try to access permissions. Let's you know, toggle them if you like, and it's going to work just as before. All right, so if I, for example, let me just try to bring back the layout here. So let me do this here, I bring back the default layout. All right, and then when I try to click here, and then I go to Namo, for example, 
see it's going to redirect me to my default layout so now if you're using the widget component you know when you click here we don't want to redirect you want to trigger to open the chart here and you can easily do that just simply go to your navigation you just add one more parameter which is widget to true this is just going to override any redirects and replace them with live wire and browser event and with that in the documentation is well detailed now here if I go and I click here and I open for example a chart with Namu this is gonna open the chart right here without redirecting anymore and I can open another chart with admin and if I check here it's gonna be in sync with this chart and this chart list up here so this is very good and convenient right here and I can also access the charts to work fine okay so next feature is multi guard authentication so previously I had actually of course added multi guard authentication but I had not polished it so in this version it's actually polished tested and done right here in this browser I'm logged in as admin from admins table I have two guards users and admin right now I'm admin from the admins table and if I try to for example access this chart You know, it's going to you know redirect because I cannot access this page. I'm logged in on filament which uses a different card right now it's asking for no more user you can simply go to the configuration in here we actually added a new key which is this and also this is a new key layout the guard is mostly used to authenticate broadcasting because by default lava will only use the web so if you don't specify guard it's not going to authenticate for that you can simply add admin here here i have the auth since i want to use two of them i can simply add full colon web and admin separated by a comma so now if i go back i copy these charts and then i go this while this admin is logged in and i try to access it and now it's working you see very good and very fine but this is the chat interface for the admin if i try to look for test in here if i open this and then i send a message saying let me use fake filler they're saying hello or oh, this new message then if i go to this chat you see i have this message from the admin and i can open the chat and start chatting nicely so now you can have two different kinds of model and authentication in the same conversations if you can see the chat here is 374 and right here is also 374 as admin and test so everything is working fine all right so that's it for these features you know you can also do more things like publish views you know extend functionality add an extra button and all that is in the documentation so i really urge you to go read the documentation the new this new version is very exciting and i'm sure you're gonna love it because i love it i'm excited so you go and check it out and uh thank you guys stay blessed